welcome back guys welcome back to snow runner we are today episode two so i hope that you uh are uh, gonna like it uh, so we're uh where we left off at is that we uh, got this little guy here um i forget exactly which exactly name of the truck off the hand um and just another uh s scout there so um i'm not up on snow runner anymore uh so you gotta excuse me about that but i do want to apologize um the first episode was kind of short um uh, I did have a problem with YouTube at one point in time with they, I don't know, I posted a video and it wasn't accepting it because it was too long. Um, so I don't know what that was about. But today's video will be longer. Um, so I think that we, uh, I think I got everything figured out with that. So hope that you bear with me and hope you enjoy today's episode. So what we're going to work on is. We're going to get this upgrade sitting here. Um, now we're going to head back to the shop and kind of look at our uh, our starting contracts. Because I have not played SnowRunner um, in quite a long time. When I first started uh, streaming, kind of like back in the day now. Um, that's where I started at with SnowRunner. Um, so I've, I've missed quite a bit. Um, honestly, um, so I need to um, find my eyeballs and put them back on so I can actually see what I'm doing. Ain't that fun? Always. All right, so AAAT 8V 5.2 Custom. So that's an engine. Overhaul such item can be equipped via the customization menu in the garage. So what is okay? So which truck is this for? Uh, okay, so it's for the Chevrolet CK1500 and the Chevrolet CK1500 tuned. All right, so that's cool. All right, so we got that. Um, I know if I remember correctly, somewhere's there is the. Uh, lifted upgrade for that same truck um so i think we need to figure out where that might be at um now there will not be any um uh, nighttime driving um i kind of just got it set to where uh it's going to be all in the daytime nighttime just gives me a headache i can't explain why it just does um i guess because you know i have to concentrate more on being able to see and kind of sucks but it is what it is it's all good all right so let me see if i can look at the map here and figure out where that is at so we do have riverside repair we unlocked that that is a contract uh is that a contract or is that no it's just a task. Okay, okay, okay. I thought it was a contract. It's a task. All right. So, let's see. I know there's an upgrade. Okay, so we're in the Scout 800. I know there's an upgrade up here somewhere. It's probably not lit up because I don't. This is in black right here. So, we'll kind of make a detour a little bit through there. See if we can uh, unlock that and see it. I know it was like up on a hill or something. Um... I'm trying to remember where everything's at. It's been so long since I've really messed around with it. Um, so I'm thinking it's right over here and right here in this little black area that I can't see. So we're going to go over there and kind of sliver that and maybe unlock part of it. Um, then we'll um, come down here and go over here and unlock the rest of it maybe. I don't know. So we will continue on here and see where it leaves us all right so let me get rid of that damn mouse cursor was kind of in my way
Oh, got a little, got a little slide coming down the hill. Sliding in the mud. Don't turn over. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. Stay up. Yeehaw. Boy, I did that right. Holy crud sickle. All right. We might have a problem here, Houston. Might have a problem here. Don't think that this Scout 800, it, I think it's going to get stuck in this water. So, we're going to try to possibly come over this way. Because the diff lock is always on, so it does help a little bit. But this thing is not the most powerful um, Scout in the world. So, we'll try to play it safe here if we can. Take our time. You know, you rush it, and that's where you mess up. Oh, it's not. It's kind of shallow. It's not that bad. I was thinking it was going to be worse than that. It's all good, all good, all good. All good in the wood. All around the rock and the hills, too. Yeah, it's been it it's been a minute since I've played this. It's, it's kind of weird to come back to it in the very beginning. Um, now I do I, I see when I first started this, um, I had all the seasons up to season six, I think it was, and that was right around the time when I uh, kind of got away from the game. Um, you know, like the way life happens, stuff like that. Um, so, I'm trying to remember where everything's at, um, and it's so weird to be back on the very first map, Michigan, um, I'm hoping to possibly get through this, um, in a reasonable time, I don't know how many episodes it's going to take to get through Michigan, probably at least two or three, I would think, maybe, I'm not sure, um, not going to say that I'm like the best player of SnowRunner. Um, I'm, you know, probably not. Just telling the truth, being honest. Uh, probably not the freaking best, but I will do the best I can. And still hope that you all enjoy it. So, I think, if I remember right, is it that road there that goes up? Let's look at the map here, see where we're kind of at. So, I might want to take this top road here, and then come up here, and I think I, I think there's like a house right here. Is that, is, if I remember, please, I mean, I think that's correct. So, let's take that side road. I think that will be the best thing for us. Why is that mouse always like up in my way? Okay. Anyway, let's turn right here. If I can get it to freaking um, engage at all. I have too much damage. Uh, I'm just running, uh, getting low on fuel because this only holds 72 liters. Definitely, definitely. I mean, I know that there's a lot of things that can be done for SnowRunner to more quality of life changes. Um, I kind of wish they would make, and I've always wished that. Um, but, um, they haven't done it, um, so it's all good, I mean, it's not gonna, it's, it's not like it's breaking a game where you don't want to play it, I mean, it's, it just, it's stuff that I think that would make the game so much more enjoyable, so much better, but, you know dang well, um, how things are these days, that's just not gonna happen, so. It is what it is, and we push on. We do the best we can. Alright, so... 
I mean, for real. I mean, I think this, I think this scat, this 800. I, I honestly, I believe when SnowRunner first came out, um, you know, because this is just a base base vehicle. Um, it kind of sucked, really. Uh, it was um, top heavy. Uh, really didn't have a lot of power. Um, but I'm seeing a difference in it now. I'm really kind of seeing where it doesn't seem that way no more. So far, I mean, um, I've been doing pretty good going through the mud and and the wall and some of the water um, so far. We'll see how it does on this hill here because this hill is a little, a little steep. But I think right up here is where that upgrade is. If I remember correctly, this does look familiar. Hmm. We will see how this Scout 800 is going to do. So I think a lot of these episodes uh, that we're going to do, um, it's going to be like trial and error all, all over again. Because, you know, like I said, it's been a long time. Like, really long time. Um, I've had, I, I have tried to come back on the SnowRunner before. Um, between then and now, and it just, I couldn't, I, I just, I don't know. I, it's like just stuff happened, and I couldn't concentrate on it. Um, so, things are a little bit different now, so I could, maybe we could put a little bit more time into it and see how it goes, and hope that y'all enjoy it. So, ha, so, we did, so I did remember how, where it was at. I knew it was up here somewhere. So as soon as I made that turn down there and I come up, I, I noticed it. Definitely, definitely, definitely noticed it. Alright, so upgrade locations. So we'll get up here in the location itself and we'll stop for handbrake so we're not rolling down a hill. Get this upgrade. Alright, so this is for the CK1500, is what I thought. Okay, so it's race suspension. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we'll release that brake, emergency brake. We'll uh, kind of back down here and see if we can get turned around without getting um, a little flippy. Because this thing rolls down a hill. I think we're pretty much, well, it'll be a recovery situation at that point. Come on, engage. Engage. It's like, go, man, go. Why are you hesitating to freaking go? No, 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 flippy, flippy. No, no, no. All four tires on the ground. Not allowed to go flippy, flippy. No flippy, flippy. All right. Come on. All four on the ground. Just get turned around enough to where I can go. Uh, Damn, it's still kind of lightweight. Um, to be completely honest with you, it's still a pretty lightweight vehicle. So you got to kind of be careful about that. Take your time. Just kind of just go through things nonchalantly, you know, kind of thing. Just, you know, what that's what SnowRunner is about. If you cannot get impatient and take your time. I think you could do pretty. I think anybody could do pretty good on this game, but that's just like I always say, and it's just my opinion. But you know, sometimes uh, opinions don't really count. But that's okay. I get it. A nice, nice kind of view out there. Nice, nice view. So I think we'll, we'll continue on this trail here. Um, so let's look at the map right quick. Okay, so we got that all uncovered. It's up this little piece right here, which that doesn't really matter. Um, so we're going to I'll tell you what, there's nothing else up here, really. Honestly, we do have the first watchtower out there, so we might go down there and get that right quick. Um, and then we'll um, get back to the shop. Um, quickly so I think what we need to do since we're going to do that we need to turn around 
well just kind of go the other way I believe as soon as I can get him to freaking shift in reverse you know freaking damn piece of junk why are you not shifting when I press the button need to shift when I say go there you go come on shift the go go thank you <laughs> I'm like damn <laughs> it takes a freaking damn act of congress just to get me to move or get the move the truck anyway what is that shadow oh it's that windmill up there I see it now I was like what the hell is that shadow and why is it freaking going around and around I did not realize that that one mill is uh, up there until I will start looking around. Whoa! Yeehaw! <laughs> That was a yee-haw moment. Had a little jumpy jump action there for a second, didn't we? Yes, we did. I don't mind doing that once in a while. But you get like one that's just too big and it's like, uh Alright, so this should be... Um, is that that road all right so we need to come back down this way I think yeah back down to where we started and then we'll go on down we should come out across from the fuel station um if I read the map correct a Monday correct a Monday correct a mondo Which will be good because we can go ahead and fill up again. Get some more petro, more fuel, more gas, more gas, more gas. Need more, need more gas. Some gas. I need gas, not gas, just gas. Not gauze. I said gas. <laughs> <clears throat> Mia Speaker, no snow runner. Mia Speaker, crazy. See, right across from the fuel station. What the hell? You can't get anything better than that now. What the hell? That's pretty awesome. It's like a wise man said a long time ago. He says, I love it when a plan comes together. Oh, Mr. Hannibal. He's such a freaking good guy. He always liked it when a plan came together. Well, let me get up here first by the tank. So I can at least try to simulate that I'm putting gas in the damn thing. All right, so we got 72, 72 liters again. Imagine that one. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go up here. There is, um, actually, if I remember correctly, there is an important, I think there's a truck over in this area that I need to get that I didn't, I didn't get right off the bat. Um, so there is that, and we're not going through the mud. Let's don't flip, don't flip. Just go, 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 go. Turn, 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 turn. Don't flip. Woo! Damn. Boy, I don't know how I made that without at least going on two wheels or flipping over. <laughs> I don't know how I made it, but it did it.
So if you're liking uh, episode two, uh, if you're enjoying this episode, uh, I would implore you, please like and subscribe to the channel, and that will greatly uh, help the channel out a lot. It will definitely help us get a lot further down the line. I really appreciate it, and I do appreciate your support. I really, really do. All right, so we're up here to this watchtower. And this should give us a little bit more on the map. And then we will watch the presentation here that we have, is what I'm calling it. Launch the observation. Dun, 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 dun. Now, I don't know if that little music tone is a copyright thing or what. I, I, I don't know. Let's hope it's not. And uh, we'll just kind of go with it. Is what it is. I mean, it's just. I wouldn't think it would be. It's just in game little tune. It's not even a, a, a full fledged song, so. It's just a sound. Yay, I'm going down this hill. I'm going to get down here all the way down and down here at the end should be, if I, I'm, I'm trying to remember everything, should be a uh, lumber yard. And then I think across from the lumber yard on this side, where I'm, you know, kind of where I'm at over here, uh, down the road a little piece, I think there's. I think there's a truck there, if I remember correctly. Like I said before, I'm trying to remember everything, um, up to a certain extent anyway. Um, there was still a lot I probably had forgotten about. I think the truck's sitting like at a, like a little RV park or trailer park or something like that. I think it had some houses was sitting out front of some kind of house or whatever. And something like that. Anyway, we'll figure it out. So this right here should be the lumber yard. Um, there is a trailer over there. It's got, I think it's got planks in. So we can utilize that in one of our uh, our missions or contracts later. <clears throat> if I remember correctly, that is how uh, SnowRunner kind of operates here. Um, at least on your starting map anyway. Here in uh, Michigan. Michigan. Not Michigan. It's Michigan. Don't you wish you was Michigan? I miss you while you was gone. That's what it sounds like. Boo hoo. Oh, pump the brakes. I'm gonna turn right here in the mud. Now, if I turn this all-wheel drive off, diff lock's still on. We'll see how we do going up through this mud right here. This mud probably is pretty, probably packed pretty good, so I uh, doubt that you have any problems with that. I mean, the diff lock, I can't turn that off. That's automatic. It's on at all times. And we really don't have, we're just sliding in the mud. We don't have any traction. Aha. So I was right. There's a truck up here. We'll just uh, have to uh, rescue this truck back to the shop, and uh, we will continue there as well. It is available. It is discovered. GMC MH9500 is available for purchase. Well, if I found it here, why do I got to buy it? It should be mine, right? I found it. Why should I got to buy it again? That's kind of freaking stupid don't you think change trucks we'll get in here and we will uh matter of fact how much fuel is in here um uh, let's do this instead 
we will uh, change back to the 800 and we'll send this packing and we'll take that I think that will be we'll recover this yes I want to recover that thank you thank you we we'll have to go back to the map our 9500 and we will get in that bad boy not seeing any damage 240 liters of fuel pretty good pretty good pretty good I'd say pretty dang good sounds a little rickety but it's an older truck what, what can you expect it's all good Don't you just love when you're freaking trying to record something or just do anything period someone wants to call you or interrupt you or any of that don't you just love how that happens not really <clears throat> that's what it sounds like <laughs> uh. So, right around um, 2005, I think it was 2005, was it? Yeah, I think so. Um, spin tires was out basically spin tires was a tech demo is what they called it back then um, that was mainly to see what they could possibly do with the software um, and then uh, a lot of modding came in and came into play with uh, with that and then shortly um, I'd say it was probably a year maybe a year and a half after that was um, out and running around, uh, they came out with uh, Mud Runner. Now, with Mud Runner, there was one thing that I speculated and kind of, I, I kind of seen it for myself. I didn't really see a lot of people talking about it, but Mud Runner was, to me, was okay. Just personally, my opinion to me was more of a test phase to see what they could do um, so with that being said that means that was the culmination of what made SnowRunner possible um, because in MudRunner um, as you went along and got further in the game, you, you know, unlocking, um, you know, completing the maps and this and that, I noticed that there was more cargo. Um, you had, you started having metal beams, you started having like uh, rock, uh, you, uh, you always had like logs, so that was kind of a normal thing. Um, I started seeing other things as well, uh, steel plates and stuff like that now and again um, that they were kind of squeezing in there um, on during updates. Um, so yeah, it was more of a, I want to say personally for myself as the way I look at it, it was more of a, 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 a test game to see what they could do and what they could put together. Um, and SnowRunner is the result of that. A lot of people don't talk about that because that's just something that that wasn't really mentioned you know wasn't really important back then to really talk about it but now that the more I think about it now because I haven't thought about that in quite a while um, I really think that um, I think I was right honestly um, about that assumption it made sense to me anyway I mean
Then I remember when SnowRunner come out. Uh, first time I put, you know, I uh, first time I, I put a controller in my hand to play it, I was like, you got to be kidding me. The graphics are amazing. They're still good. They're, you know, it's still a great game. <clears throat> yeah, still a good game. Um, it does have its its quirks and up and up and downs and so to speak. It does have all that. Um, but what game don't? I mean, that's just that's just the way it is these days now. Um, unfortunately, it, these days are like that, or I don't think they should be like that. But that's yet again just my opinion. And most of the time. You know, the, the old wives' tale is, or the old thing is, you know, your opinion doesn't count type thing, da da da, because you're in a, a sea of millions and millions of other people in the world. Why does your opinion count? Well, it counts to me. That's how I feel about it. But anyway. Um, so. I guess we're just gonna kind of get um, this back to the shop. Um, we already got. I mean, we want to kind of see what contracts that we are missions or whatever you want to call them. I've done lost track half the time. What they they've changed that. Uh, I remember when Snow Runner first came out, it changed so many different things. You know, right off the bat, because they were doing updates and stuff like that. So it's kind of hard to uh, remember all of it. Now, I remember when we'd come down this road right here, you head into the shop, um, you would just like slide like all over the place. There wasn't no, the, the ground was just no, like there's no grip, um, you know, like a like a trigger to the terrain. There wasn't no, no grip. You would just slide like you was on ice. Um, but I just noticed there that you're not doing that, which that's, that's great, that's awesome. I'm glad that that was uh, eventually fixed. We used to have a really hard time just driving on the concrete, you know, on the roads, because you would just slide everywhere. Come on, come on back, camera. There you go. We don't want too much. So I need to get down. I, I know that I have a couple. There's a couple trucks over here that needs to be rescued. I'm not sure if I can do it with this one right now, though. I might need to see what we have for upgrades. Um, I don't know how much money we actually have right now. Probably not a lot. I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> So when I first started playing this, I was surprised at the um, the highest level as far as number level that you can get is 30. And I always asked myself, why did they just set it at 30 and then not, you know, progress any further as far as a level goes? I've never got an answer to that. So I'm still kind of curious. Here's the question. Why did he stop at 30? What's the point for it? Why? So, if anybody knows, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about that question. I'm a high believer in if you don't question things and don't ask questions, you're never going to learn anything. You're never going to know information. Never be afraid to ask a question if you don't know something. Because if you don't ask, you don't proceed forward it's just not really a good thing all right now we do have watchtower right there 
but every time I take this truck down there it gets stuck so we need to wait on that just a little bit longer until we can get something um, a little better a little better better I think that we have where's it at where's that let me see or is it over there in that field yep there yeah. with that red truck it sits over there in the field um, on that farm it needs to be rescued um, so we, we can possibly do that um, but we do want to head back to the shop and then we can um, see what we can do for upgrades I might be able to upgrade that, uh, that little Chevy truck to uh, get through some of this mud. It might be possible. I don't know. We can try. I don't know how much um, greenback or moolah that we have. Now I did take the arms out because it just looks weird the way it steers in here. Um, I kind of like it without the arms. It's, you know, it's supposed to be me driving it anyway. You know, simulating that. So I kind of like that aspect of it. I think that's so much better. I think most of the time I would like to... Well, the mirrors look better. That's cool. That's excellent. Now, if I could just slide the seat back so I could use the mirror all the time would be great. But unfortunately, somebody did not think about that since it was labeled as a simulator. Hmm. wonder where the concept was there that they didn't think about that. Huh. Okay, then. We're gonna give you all a little in cab action. Um, like actually, I mean the way this, I mean, is you know as long as the arms ain't showing from the from your character that's inside the truck. I mean I think this looks pretty good. Like I said, I mean other than the little things, but you gotta kind of overlook that. All right. So fuel gauge is showing full, which is not accurate. Well, pretty close to full, I guess. So it's pretty much a little bit accurate. Just a little bit. I gotta bend my neck way the hell over here so I can see out the mirror. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just forgot about something. Where's that? I think there is a upgrade right over there. Ain't there a side road that I can take to get to that? I believe that there is. I don't think we're not going to worry about it right this moment. Because I don't think it's going to really kind of help us. <clears throat> Or right, here's the main shopola. So we're gonna turn in here. Let's see what we got going on. Now I think this curtain side trailer, doesn't it? If I remember right. Ooh, yes, it does. It's supposed to go to the farm. Ain't that right? I believe it does. So let's actually. We'll check our map again and we will see 
where that I mean it should be a task right a fallen power line I remember that one Pinewood Express drainage rock slide rock slide two rock slides uh, truck trailer motel woes what's the truck trailer um, oh stuck oh stuck trailer not truck trailer you doofus stuck trailer where is that oh that is wait a minute am I not okay so where am I at right now uh, oh that's up there by um, oh shoot okay so we're all the way down here that's back up there by town all right so I'm not worried about that right now I'm looking for these okay service trailers flatbed trailer sideboard trailer uh, it's that one and then that's that one there flatbed that's the one here at the store okay does that go anywhere no So let's look. Okay, that's Pinewood Express. Dyson's Diesel. Pipe Dream. Mm, I, I'm starting to remember a lot of these. Um, starting to a little bit. Husky Forwarding. Farming Tools. Okay. Curtain side trailer. You know, it's to deliver to the farm. Well, we just passed the farm, so we can do that right quick. So let's activate that. Start tracking it. All right, cool, cool, cool. Awesome. So all we gotta do now is back up to it and uh, hook her up. Let's see how my snow runner backing skills are. Probably not very well. I'm assuming that they're probably not very good. <coughs> yeah, kind of move that camera a little bit so you can get kind of square on it, I guess. I don't know if that's the right terminology for it. Alright, so uh, let's see. Attach trailer. Oh, trailer's too far away. Move back a little bit more. All right, let me try that again. Patch trailer, awesome. All right, and up the way we go. Back on the road again. On the road again. I'm enjoying my journey back on the road again. Enough of my awful singing. I'm pretty sure you don't like all that. <clears throat> Alright, back in the cab. I always think it's kind of better than whoa that trailer kind of pushed me off that one side a little bit I got to be careful about the weight I forgot about that I mean I've always thought that this game here you kind of just need to take your time I think I was kind of I kind of said it before already but I mean, I have to, I, I feel that I have to say it several times because a lot of people don't, don't take their time. Then they get all freaking messed up and then they're like, oh, I don't want to play this anymore. You know, they get bored of it. He's got to be patient. Kind of like, you get there when you get there. <laughs> I think.
I'm struggling a little bit in it. <clears throat> all I have on here is low gear and a handbrake. And really low gear is all I got. So I don't know. I got a little bit of wheel spin back there. I'm seeing. But we're still trucking forward. So we're still good. So like a tractor pull now. <laughs> That's what it seems like. <clears throat> We're not going slow. We're in slow motion. So it, it, it'll be all right. We might get there on the next episode. <laughs> no, I don't mean that. I'm just kind of playing. <laughs> right now, we're in fourth gear. No way that we're connecting to the... I don't even have a high gear in this truck. So it kind of needs to be updated. I probably should have tried to maybe update it before I uh, did this. But uh, I think that will be okay. Let me see if I can grab some traction over here on the side that might help us maybe 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 I mean I could put it let's let's put it in low gear and see what it does sometimes low gear you can get more traction and you can actually roll a little bit quicker because of it if that makes any bit of sense, we'll go, about, go back to high gear. So I have not modded this. I haven't used mods on this game in quite a long time. Ooh, what we got going on here? Come on. Um, so I'm kind of curious and I'm wondering um, is there a mod out there that that helps with um, like how much mud that you can kick up from your tires or or clumps up on the tires or um, is there a mod that um, just gives you more mud spray I guess I, I, is what I'm trying to get at I mean is there a mod that's like that I don't know if there is um, I would really appreciate you let me know if there's mods like that out there I have not seen any um, I have looked at some mods um, for snow runner but uh, I didn't really dive very uh, deep into it I mean, all in all, right this moment, yeah, this truck, pretty good truck. It's, it's getting the job done for this moment, anyway. Had some big slush, slush mud to go through. Probably wouldn't have made it. <clears throat> Probably not. All right, so we don't have to go all the way up in there. What we gotta do is just. Uh, oh no, I didn't want to do that. No. That is not what I wanted to do. Not at all. I guess we need to go a little further then. <clears throat> there we are. Cool, 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 cool. 
So our profile balance right now is uh, 108.50. Alright, cool, cool, cool. We made a little bit of money. It's not like a lot, but we made a little bit. <clears throat> now, do I dare take this out there in that field and get that truck out? Because I think if I do that, I'm going to bury this truck up because I don't think this truck's powerful enough for all that yet. Um, I kind of really, I'm, I'm thinking that anyway. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to recover this back to the shop. No, I don't want that. I just scrolled too far there. All right. So let's look at our storage. Um, I do have one DLC truck, uh, the cat. It was free. I think I got it like, you know, um, not too long ago. Um, so I did say in the beginning of this playthrough that there was going to be no DLCs. Uh, so I apologize for that. There is one, it's free, it's why I have it. Um, so, um, there is that. So I apologize for that. But anyway, um, so let's see. Could I use this cat? Or is it going to cost me to actually use it? I don't think it would. All right, so we got that there. Um, do I dare sell? I'm thinking about selling this because I don't think it's really a great truck. So we're gonna get rid of that. Um, I'm gonna go to customize and see what we can do with this big boy. And we have. Um, Twenty-five, eight, fifty, right now. Let's see what we can do for tires. That might be uh, an important investment. Ooh, I do not have any off-road or all-terrain tires whatsoever, do I? Oh God, that's not good. I'm just, just not gonna cut it. What the hell? All right, well, yeah, it's a grind. You gotta work your way up. It's all good. So forty-seven UHD three it's more of a uh, on-road it's excellent off-road average and mud is poor for those tires that's pretty much about what we already kind of have anyway um, winch uh, advanced uh, so we don't we just got stock winch diff lock we do have that and that's unlocked Snorkel or snorkel or snorkel. Um, intake air filter. It's twelve hundred. We'll get that right quick. All wheel drive. That's already been there. All right, frame add-ons. Well, the log carrier. Mm, I'm not really sure what we need, so I might hold off on that until we figure out what we're doing exactly well that's cool I didn't know that's different that, that, that's got to be new uh, for me it's probably new uh, so saddle high and saddle low so we need to look at our whatever that we're gonna do and see if we need a crane or what we need all right so before we customize that any further we need to see what we're going to do see what we're gonna do first um, Well, you know what? I think what we're going to do is we're going to end the video right here. Um, I did say longer. I did go longer. Um, but if you're enjoying it and you like the content that, um, that's going on right now with the um, this playthrough, please leave a like, subscribe, and all that good stuff because it does help the channel out completely a lot. 
and I do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So, with that being said, have a good day. Uh, stay keeping that, kicking that mud up, and, and having fun with it. So, I will see you in the next one.